So you've got an app you've been using on your Apple Watch, your watch time's out, you go back on your watch and it puts you back on your main watch face because it keeps returning it to the clock. How do you control that? That's what we're gonna be looking at in today's video is the return to clock feature per app. And I'm gonna be doing it on the Apple Watch second generation SE. I'm gonna go ahead and press the digital crown. And what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to go to settings. I've got my apps in list view, yours might be in grid view. My battery is low. I'm gonna click on settings. Under settings, you're gonna to wanna to go to general. And then under general, we're gonna click on return to clock. And this feature determines when you're in an app, how long before it returns you back to your clock face. You've got a default value up here of always after two minutes after one hour. By default, every app is going to use this setting, but you can scroll down to the bottom and you will see some individual apps listed. The reason you won't see all of your apps is not every app has this feature, but you're gonna see most of them listed here, and then you can pick and choose any app to follow its own behavior with regards to returning to the clock. So I'm gonna simply click on this Hunting Times app, and again, you can see that by default, it's following my default value, but I can simply click on custom. And now I can go down, and instead of it following the default, which is after two minutes, I can change it to after one hour. I wish they would give you more options other than just always after two minutes or after one hour. But nonetheless, my hunting times app, if I'm using it, it won't send me back to my watch face unless it's been an hour of inactivity, whereas everything else is using the default value which is gonna be up here at the top. So that's basically the point of this video is make sure you know that you can go down per app and you can control the duration of time it takes before it returns you back to the clock. I hope the video helped.